Hello everyone, and welcome back to Arcage 101. My name is Jalan, and I lead the Paradox Guild on the Sulfira server. So if you're on Sulfira and you need anything, feel free to message me in-game or send me an in-game mail. Out of game, you can head over to our webpage at www.paradoxgaming.net, or you can send us an email at the address below. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Arc Age 101. Today's episode, part eight, is going to be talking about dailies. The reason that this video is being done, and this is just going to be a real short video, uh, straight into the point. The last couple of days, the timing of CR or GR has been right at server reset. And so in order to get as many things done in an evening as we can, we've been operating at a really high pace. And that works really well for the people who've been playing for six or more months who instantly know how to do everything. But I've noticed in uh, nation chat or raid chat, people have been saying, I don't know where to open this quest. Or they said, can we kill another bunker because I missed it because I was looking for the quest. So what I want to do today is I just want to identify all the places to go to open your dailies. A previous video spoke about the currency from the dailies, but I don't feel I did a very good job breaking it down. The other thing that I've noticed, and I want to show everyone, uh, a lot of people were saying, I can't accept the daily, I can't accept the daily. And I had this happen to me before. You can only have a finite number of quests open at any given time. So I'm going to show you how to keep your quest log clean. Uh, I don't know when they snuck it in there. I think it was in 3.5, but they put this cool little uh, quest management uh, mouse over. So we're going to take a look at that. Then we're going to talk about dailies, mainly your guild, your family, and your merit dailies. And then that's it. Uh, this is going to be a short one. So to come into game, in order to access your quest log, you can use the keyboard shortcut of L. And that will bring it up, or in your lower right-hand screen, the third icon uh, from the left will also bring it up. Now, in the past, you would have all these all these quests in your quest log, and then you'd try to accept dailies, and you couldn't. So you'd frantically start canceling out uh, quests, but unless you canceled out daily quests, you still couldn't accept any more dailies. If you notice right here in the lower left-hand corner of this quest log when I cursor over it it tells me how many of each I can now have well as you see they've made the daily ratio all the way up to you can hold 70 and I know what some of you are thinking that there isn't any way you'd have 70 quests in your 70 daily quests in your quest log believe me you could get up to 70 dailies in your quest log uh, but as you can see this character has a very very small number of quests I am going to show you how to get rid of one just in case you need to ask. I'm going to click on news because nobody ever does this bedhead one. And I'm going to hit abandon. And then quests received 19. The other one to look out for is around uh, times that they do commemorative events. This particular character still has uh, an Aurora conquest all the way back from when we were getting these guild marks. So some of these, sometimes you are just carrying around extra uh, quests. And as a little side note, we did some experimentation a while back dealing with uh, quest log and load times. And it seems like you may be increasing your load time just a little if you've got a full quest log. The next piece we're going to talk about is going to be on those dailies. And then we're going to start with guild. So I can come down here to the lower right hand corner third icon from the end and click community and then click community again and this will bring up both my family and my guild quests so I'm going to start with guild and I'm going to click on guild quests and then I'm going to come down to mission and as you can see this character has never unlocked these guild quests since joining this guild so the first thing you need to do is you need to unlock them all and you only have to do this once and once you unlock them at every reset they'll be blue now the three quests that you should be trying to do every day if you're in a guild is you should be trying to do a grand, Aurorian, and world bosses. Now what I've seen for the last three years, specifically on Selfira, is at night we will do CR or GR as close to reset as we can, and then we'll go up and we will blow up a bunker, 
and then we will do the trade packs. Most people just do one. They use six Archeum, I'm sorry, Starlight Archeum to run the pack. And then uh, they get their three guild quests done. The reason why you want to do guild quests, we talked about uh, currencies, but we never really got into prestige. You want to earn prestige so you can buy stuff out of this prestige shop. You want to do guild quests so your guild XP bar is able to be uh, filled and then the guild leader can upgrade it. The next one I'm going to talk about are the family dailies. You click on family and you click on all in the family. And as you can see, there's three quests here. Uh, supply the community center, family quest, and trade for goods. Uh, the community center is if you are a resident of a zone, you take uh an item to the community center it'll ask you specifically for what it wants uh here's all the different quests i can tell you rookborn is purely medicinal that's the one i do uh sometimes i run around the rest of the uh continent if people say they're close uh, i will put all of my tickets into that specific zone and i'm going to talk about those in a later video but i just wanted you to see how to unlock these today so back to the list and then cargo delivery uh, right now, it is July 15th of 2017. There is an event going on that doubles all of these vocation badges. So you probably want to think about doing them, especially now. Uh, but it, a cargo delivery is simply you pick up a cargo at the cargo building uh, and you deliver it inland. Finally, I'm going to talk about merit badges. And I'm going to bring up my calendar. And these are all my merit badges. Now, I didn't unlock any of them. Uh, while you're in here, always make sure that you click on your login tracker. So we are at uh, Merit Quests, and I'm going to open them all down in a row to see what sort of stuff that we can get. Now, uh, I'm going to load a character in just a second to show you the prices to unlock these. It does. There is a bit of an investment in order to have all of these available. But as you can see, they get a little bit harder or a little bit easier at the top. And they get a little bit harder as you go down. So, Paranor Runes, go kill 30 things. Uh, use 100 labor to open coin purses. Kill enemies in the corner reading room. That one you probably need to get a group for. So, so on and so forth. These aren't too bad. The quests that you're going to get out of this section right here, these are the ones that can produce those 50 gold quests that I talked about in an earlier video. So I'm going to take a quick moment to pause here while I load up a different character. So as you can see, I'm sitting on Jalan, being lazy, sleeping in a coffin. And same thing, easy at the top, hard down as we go through. Uh, this one also has the two craft quests. I'm going to take another moment to pause. I'm going to cycle through some characters to see if I can't find a better one. All right, guys, I uh, cycled through all my characters looking for uh, other examples about the Arcmaster and the Heroes Reborn quality of quests. But then I realized the price to unlock those is so high that I'm never going to do that on my alts. So what I did is I came into my level one character just so you could see those prices. And as you can see, the first one, no price. The level 10 one is one hammer. The level, five, uh, level 18 one is one Evanstone. Uh, the Warrior's Calling is 5 Gilda, the Arcmaster is 50 Gilda, Heroes Reborn is a Snowflake, and then at level 15 this last one just becomes openable for free. Now I know a lot of people are going to say uh, every time I've shown video footage I have really bad uh, quests in my Arcmaster and my Heroes Reborn. I just want to remind you those are the slots that the Kill a World boss for 50 gold can come in or the Serpentis one. For 50 gold can come in so i recommend opening them up uh when you can even if you're just chipping away doing the trade pack ones at uh a little bit of gold and two merit badges that stuff adds up really quickly all right guys before we finish up for the day i just want to uh, call into the spotlight two of my fellow creators on Selfira. the first is savannah lynn and she is Selfira's cookie queen she runs a blog where she basically goes around and she looks at people's houses and calls those houses out into uh, the spotlight. And I think this is a really cool thing that she does. 
uh, because there are a lot of clever people on Selfira with how they've done their homes and how they've decorated their homes. I just actually poked through uh, someone's portal the other day, and I was thinking I was in a house that wasn't commonly available because of how they had decorated the house with all the interior partitions. They made it look like it was completely different than something you could buy. The other person is Anita Selt. She runs a Twitch, uh, and she's really trying to get people to follow. She is really motivated to get the East back in order. Uh, so uh, visit her visit her Twitch, uh, see the things that's going on, see the things that she's doing for her guild, uh, maybe get some ideas for your own. And then I want to say to the other Selfira creators, if you are doing stuff on Selfira, go ahead and send me an email, and I'll get you up on some of these slides. I think it's uh, I think Selfira is a really great server for what it is, and uh, there's no reason that we're not getting right to the top with publicity. And speaking of publicity, I have more squirrels. Squirrels four, five, and six are on deck to be given away. Uh, any comments on the Archage 101 videos count. Uh, comments on the other videos that I post do not. So uh, if you're posting on the combat videos I show or the raffles, um, those aren't going to count for you. Uh, there will be no repeat winners for the same prize. So those of you that have won a squirrel already, you cannot win another squirrel. Uh, but what I will do is I will think about how I'm going to handle that. Uh, if I'm just going to make it a single lot draw or if I'm going to possibly weight you in the next contest. Uh, I just haven't made that decision yet. And if you know uh, Shozer R from YouTube, or if you are that person, you need to get in contact with me. You did win a squirrel. I haven't been able to give it to you, but the squirrel's code does have an expiration date. So I have to give them all out by a certain date. Otherwise, the code's no good to anybody. And that's all we have for today. Like I said, really short video. Just wanted to show people how to keep their quest log clean. And I wanted to specifically show them how to open their dailies instead of just vaguely discussing it in another video where I said, okay, open these. I wanted to walk you through the steps. Uh, I want to remind all the new players out there that there are no dumb questions. If you feel apprehensive about asking a question in raid chat or nation chat, you can whisper me. You can whisper Savannah Lynn. I need a cell. Uh, you'll see the people in nation chat who are willing to help. And that's everything I have for you today. I'm Jalan from the Selfira server. If you're on Selfira and you need something, go ahead and send me an in-game message or mail. Check out our website or send me an email to the address below. That's it. Class dismissed. Hey, you. Yes, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you. I'm talking to you. Hit that subscribe button. Watch a couple of more videos. Go check out our website.